Hello, welcome to the video. So today's video is going to be a try on haul with Burlook. And honestly, I don't have the intro. So let's just get right into it. First of all, I just wanted to mention the packaging was really cute. It says, hello, I'm 100% compostable. And then inside, it looks like this. In this nice, what is this called? Linen bag. And it's just so cute. I love it, very aesthetic. Anyways, honestly, do I have a use for this? No, but do I want to keep it? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little sticker on it with their brand name too. Okay, already 10 out of 10 for all the packaging and vibes. All right, well, let's get into it. So the first thing is this dress. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is this dress has twisty straps. I'm very confused. The strap twists, and I was like trying to make it right, but it just doesn't. It's a twisty strap, so that is cool. Nice little design touch, and it looks like this. It's really hard to tell without it being on, but it has a nice cute little slit right here. I think this is like in the back, but I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go try this on and test it out. Okay, so this dress, unfortunately, it's a no for my body type. I think it's made for people with less prominent because it's supposed to just flow. But for me, it kind of like goes around the curves and therefore the slit in the back right here actually shows my butt. So I cannot wear this. It's meant to be like more of a straight dress, you know? Like that's why I got it because it looked good on the model. But on me, it does not look so good. So I think this one is kind of more like depending on your body type, this will look good on you or not because I mean, I don't think it looks good on me. <laughs> so unfortunately, this one is a no for me. Next is just a basic. I actually um, got this shirt yesterday and I just was like, I need more basic tank tops because the only tank tops I have right now have like ribbing on them and none are just like clean and soft. So that's what this is. And it's black and it's cropped. Honestly, crop tops, best invention ever. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, very simple black tank top. And I like the little baby straps right here because it keeps that simple vibe. Can you tell how thick it is? Like, it's really nice. Let's go put this on. Okay, I was sad to start off with like a low note, but this tank top gets a 10 out of 10 for me. It is so soft and thick that you could wear it without a bra and it's not like it's gonna be see-through or anything. Like, this material is great. I don't know if they had this in white, but if they do, that is a perfect white tank top. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, I would wear it with a black bra, but here we are. And this is what it looks like in the back. Just a simple black tank top. So this definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The next item is a one-piece swimsuit, also in purple. Purple's my favorite color. Um, but I actually have never worn an asymmetrical style swimsuit like this, so I was really excited to try it. It's kind of hard to even show, but it's an asymmetrical swimsuit. Yeah, usually asymmetrical things kind of confuse me a little bit or like bother me because it's not nice and symmetrical. <laughs> That's the point. But um, yeah, so I'm anxious to see if I like this, you know? Well, let's go try it on. For the swimsuit, I actually really like this a lot more than I expected. Um, so this is what it looks like, first of all. The back, I feel like, is a little bit loose right here, like, kind of bunches up a little bit. It has removable pads as well. I kind of like them in because they're not the type where you can see them that much. I mean, unless you can see them right now, but I can't really tell. And then I like a little cutout here. Would give you some weird tan lines, but honestly, it's really cute. I see it more as like a beach item rather than a pool item. I don't know. I got a size medium in this and the quality is really nice. And for it being like one-sided, it actually holds up really nice, like on this side too. So I really like this. This gets a 10 out of 10 for me. This next swimsuit, I'm so excited about. Like, what? Okay, ready for this? Velvet green bikini. This part's really soft. I wonder how this will perform in the water. I mean, it was definitely advertised as a swimsuit, so. Anyways, yeah, that's the bottom, and then the top is just a little triangle top in the same fabric. I'm excited to see what this is like. Never tried on a soft swimsuit like this, so let's go try it on. Okay, for the green swimsuit, definitely love the feel of it. It's really fun. Um, the first things I noticed is that the inside is white, so obviously that's gonna show a little bit, like right here. And then the bottom has like kind of a lot of fabrics. So on the back, 
it's definitely gonna show the white part. I had to like move it around a bit to like not show the white part. And then I got some comments that my swimsuit top was too small in all my videos, which I'm not sure why you would complain about that. So I tried a large top and a medium bottoms. I think it looks okay. I think I can get away with a medium or a large top. Um, don't necessarily like this better, but also don't like it any less. I like the color of this too. I don't really have, I don't have anything in this color, so I think that's fun. And I have a mirror over here, so I can like see what I look like. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fabric, but for some reason it's like not my favorite. Something is throwing me off. It might just be that the bottoms are a little wide in the back for me. I prefer like the, the thong ones, so... Kind of having to like squish that in is like a little a little weird for me because as you guys saw i like squished it in to like not show the white part but if you wear it as intended it looks like this in the back which i think looks kind of like worse you know but then the other way was kind of uncomfortable so that's an interesting thing that i noticed so overall i would say this gets like an eight out of ten Okay, I knew I got a reversible swimsuit. This is the reversible one. And the colors are so cute. It's this pink and red bikini. And like I said, it's reversible, so you can do the pink or the red. And I like how either way, like the other color will probably peek through a little bit. I think pink and red look pretty cute together. Definitely Valentine's vibes. And then the top is a triangle top. Again, pink on the other side. And the stitching's like really nice on both sides, so that's why it is actually practical to wear reversible. Two swimsuits in one. Let's go try them. Let's go try both sides on and see what we like better. Okay, for this swimsuit, I definitely really like this fabric. I do like it more than the green, like velvety one. I just think obviously like it's normal swimsuit material, so it feels more comfortable and normal. This is what it looks like. I got a large in the top, medium in the bottoms. I actually decided to turn the bottoms backwards. So this is meant to be the back, and then this part is meant to be the front. But I wanted to see if it worked better because obviously in the last swimsuit, my concern was that the bottoms were too like thick in the back. So I don't know, can you tell that this is meant to be the back? When I show you the pink side next, I will flip it. So I guess we can see what the difference is. But yeah, this is what it looks like up close. I really like the top and the material. It has the pads inside as well, but the pads inside are not removable because obviously when you would flip it, you would see that little cut. So those stay in, but I don't have a problem with those. Sometimes the pads that they put in are weird, but these are fine. So yeah, honestly, I would give the swimsuit a 10 out of 10, but let's see what it looks like in pink. Okay, for me, I definitely actually like how the pink looks with the little hints of red better than the all red. So I like this color combo much better. The thing is though, like with the pads on the inside, I don't know if it's because the pink is like more sheer, but you can see them and they're not removable. So I don't really know. I don't know if it's that big of a deal, but that's what that looks like. And the bottoms, I switched them. For this pair, I actually like them the normal way. So the smaller part in front and then like bigger in the back, but I think it makes more sense and it fits better because this fabric is thinner, so there's no like bunching problem. So yeah, for these, I definitely like the bottoms this way. I really like how the pink looks with a little hint of red. Love it. So that's what this one looks like. Do a little spin. But yeah, this gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Next is this very soft, silky thing. Don't remember what this is. I do remember what this is. So I got a skirt. I do not wear skirts a lot, so that's why I wanted to try this. Um, but it looks like this. Doo -doo -doo. Has a cute little tie on the side. Oh, there's a slit in the front. I actually got this to go with the black tank top. Um, so let's go put this on with it and see how it looks. I feel like this skirt is a skirt that you would wear in Europe. I don't know, I've never been to Europe. But it gives me those vibes, like walking down a street and it's just like floating behind you. It has a cute little slit right here. It fits me perfectly at the waist. It does have a zipper, so it's like easier to put on. But then when you zip it up, it is nice and snug. I've never worn like a long skirt like this. And I'm not sure if I would wear it out. Just because it's like not totally my style. But it's really fun and comfortable. But I feel like it's for a very like specific occasion. I don't know. At least for me. <laughs> so yeah, this would get like a 9 out of 10 for me. Okay, the last thing is a nice, I don't know if it's called like a slip dress. It feels like that because it's like satin, but it's much more thicker than that. Much more thick. Looks like this. And I'm realizing I will definitely probably need to iron it. And to be honest, I hate ironing. It has this, these two pieces in the front that you can tie in a bow. And then the adjustable straps and the hardware for it is clear. 
which is nice because that keeps it nice and clean looking. And then the back has this smocked area, so it stretches like a lot. Let's go iron this and then try it on. I think I should stick to like not trying new things because I don't like how this looks on me either. It looks super cute on the website, but not on me. My first like concern, I guess, is that this part is cut weird. Like there's no way to stop that flap. Like where is that supposed to go? So it just looks kind of funky to me. This is what it looks like, and it's really flowy and like super like super dainty and cute. If it was just a little more cinched, it would be perfect, but that's a lot of extra fabric that I can't really hide that just because it is not my style once it is on. Like on the website you look really cute, but now that I have it on, I unfortunately have to give it like a five just for me, you know? All right, so that is everything that I have, and thanks again to Burlick for sponsoring this video. If you did like any of the pieces, again, they are linked below, plus they have a lot more stuff on their website. I had a hard time narrowing it down to just these. But yeah, the links are listed below, and if you want 15% off, you can use my code ClaireG15 to get 15% off. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!